let's talk about the banning of TikTok that everybody's so concerned about. And then I'll go into Mothership versus Project Blue Beam. I am for and against the banning of TikTok. Here's the reason why. I'm for the banning of TikTok because they're right. It's not just about only stealing data. We shouldn't even use that excuse because they probably been had that. I know because I'm one of those that, oh my God, we got to check your credit report every year because it was breach, whatever. Huh. And yeah, they'll collect data and they are concerned about that and they should be. However, it's the propaganda. You see, this app is not just for collecting data. It's also being used as a psychological app to keep dissent. If you can get enough people not to trust your government, you're creating your own war in, in your own way. It's, it's like psychological warfare. So the people on here are angry. They're putting different things out there. I, I'm grateful. I learn a lot on TikTok. I mean, stuff that I never know. I call it the TikTok. It, it's, it is propaganda. You see, the Chinese won't tell the people that they're creating their own 15-minute cities. It won't tell its people what they're doing. They don't get that side of TikTok. But it's okay to let, oh, let them go for it. Tell whatever they want. Educate their people. What that does is create distrust and dissent in our institution of government. And by some fault, it's probably our own fault in a, in a lot of ways. However, the reason why I'm against that is a healthy part of a democratic or whatever we call it nowadays, democratic republic, um, capitalism, is dissent. Listening to your people. So you know both sides. And that's fine. That's what I'm saying. Let it, let it go. As a matter of fact, let people share information. But that's how you know where people are, where they're hard at, what they're thinking. So to me, it'll be counterproductive to shut it down. But I find in anything, everything is about money. Because if some of our leaders were that so concerned about China, uh, maybe they shouldn't be in China's pocket. Not saying they are. You know, so it's, it's about big business and money. And one thing I love about my country is it's about the money. Show me the money. However, so I'm for and against it. So either way it goes, it's fine with me. My 12, no, actually 14,000 followers can just pop right on over to IG. The difference with IG is I, I don't see the same level of, same level of passion and just being themselves. And on TikTok, you get that. You can, you can be yourself. But the disinformation on TikTok is out of control i mean it's but i love it because one side will tell you this is coming the other side will tell you no that's not true in the end the people that are in the middle are so confused like for example take your mothership there is so much disinformation on tiktok that even if there was a real alien ship and a war coming an alien war coming we would know they would have come whooped our ass which they never will. They really never will. No one ever will. I don't care what anybody says. Um, and they will move right next door to us and we wouldn't even know. And here's the reason why. <laughs> because there's so much information out there about Project Blue Bleam that if there was a real ship to come in the sky, we'll be like, uh-uh, that shit ain't real. It's, 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 it's a projection. And maybe, and maybe it is, and maybe it's not. But for whatever is coming, just be prepared, you know, pay attention and be ready to just take care of you, yourself and your family. Well, that's my rant. So where the TikTok goes, TikTok stay, TikTok can be healthy, TikTok can be unhealthy. I mean, I didn't believe in TikTok at first. It was hard for me to get on TikTok. I, I didn't trust it. But when I hear they trying to sell me, oh, it's because of your data. I know that was bullshit, but I still wouldn't have got on it. Until my daughter one day, she was going through some real personal stuff. And I was so worried about her. And I see her on the phone all the time, stuck to the phone. And I took her phone and said, girl, what's going on with you? Because, you know, she just go through the motions. And I saw her on TikTok. And I like, okay, I like to look at what my kids are looking at. So I said, put it on my phone. I'll be honest. TikTok helped me. Watching people going through, and I've been going through a lot, especially emotionally. TikTok helped me. because I. 
identify with people that are going through the same things. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'm not that special. It's great. So by identifying with people that are going through what I went through, I'm telling you, it really helped me. It helped me to get out of my own way. It helped me to get out of my own path and give path the growth. I mean, it even emboldened me. I would have never made videos or, and it helped me because I wanted to do so much more once I'm retired, like really reach across and did something what someone done for me a long time ago, helped me to become a better person. And TikTok helped me with that. But I got what I needed out of it, which was to meet some amazing people that helped me to grow internally and just give me additional information. But I'm not stupid. I know when there's good information, I know when there's bad information. And that's the thing about a healthy democratic or democratic republic or capitalism, whatever we call it nowadays. That's what a healthy society is about. And I'm not for completely getting rid of it because what a great way to see what people are thinking and what they're up to. That's just me. And as far as the mothership, whether it's fabricated, I don't believe in an alien invasion, but it can happen. It really can. I can't tell you why, but it can. And if it does, just know this. Bro, it doesn't matter how far you came. You picked the wrong goddamn fight. Because you see, whether you outbeat us by technology, the heart and soul of American people, it's not something you can just put down. Just saying, I could be wrong. But for me, I'm right. 